<laughs> oh, God, I'm going to get killed for this. It's no news that I'm a cheap person. Literally, if I can find a way to avoid spending money on anything, I will take it. Therefore, I apply that mentality to every single thing in my life. Clothes, I don't spend much. Food shopping, I don't spend much. Going on dates, or we are eating from the saver menu. Hell, if I could survive without food, I would do so just to save money. I also don't spend money on haircuts. Which brings me to the topic of this video. Now, I cut my own hair, and I do a pretty good job at cutting it well, if I do say so myself. But trust me, accomplishing this was not easy. I have to go through bad haircut after bad haircut after bad haircut just so that I can get to this level. So now I don't let anyone else touch my hair. Unless if once in a while I go to a barber with a PhD in the cutting arts just to get a crispy hair trim and a clean fade. So why am I bringing this up? At a certain time, one of my very good friends asked me to cut his hair. And let's just say... I messed up a little bit. Meet Rui Sanch. When I was in uni, Rui and I often help each other out with shape ups. So one day he comes up to me and was like, Oi Charles, I'm gonna need a favor. And I was like, Cool, what's up? Then he says, I'm going out tomorrow night. Could you help me with my hair? And I was like, Oh, what? What, you need a shape up? Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna need a trim and a fade. Now, here's the problem. Rui is full Portuguese and his hair is not of the African descent and I told him I could not help him because I knew I would mess up. However, he convinced me to watch a few YouTube videos and copy what I see there. It took me a while but he convinced me to do it. I went home and I started watching these videos damn near 100,000 times so that I can get it right. The next day I went to his place for my tools, he then sat down and I reluctantly got to work and began cutting. During the whole process, I was feeling good. I was, I was feeling quite confident that the hair would come out good. And after I finished with it, feeling on top of the world, I looked in the mirror and we both thought, yep, this will do just fine. But after a quick shower, all I heard was, what the fuck, Charles, come here. I rushed to the bathroom and all I saw was this. Rui goes on saying, what the hell Charles, what's this? Why do I look like some next chicken? He fully, <laughs> he fully looked like a chicken as well. Just looking at him, I was trying my hardest not to laugh. And looking at his hair didn't help whatsoever. So what he did was grab my clippers, attach the size 3 guard, and mowed down his hair. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing about it was that he actually looked alright with short hair But ever since then he has never let me forget about it Hey, hey, don't judge me In my defense, I told him I couldn't do it 